guys, it's Mara. Um, today I wanted to show you how to do a antibody screen on a patient. Um, I'm going to be using QC materials um, instead of patient plasma or serum, but just so you can get the idea. So I'm going to be doing this type of testing in gel. This is what a gel card looks like. Um, IgG is what we use. Um, that's what's in the gel to find out the antibodies. Um, we do a screen off of three screening cells. So I'm going to label these one, two, and three. Now each card can fit two patients. And there is a metal top um, that keeps things from evaporating when it's not being used yet keeps the um, fluid in there. So first of all I'm going to take off the top. Now if you were just using, if you were just performing on one patient or one QC, um, then you can just remove the foil to the halfway mark of just three. So the cells we're going to be using are the surgery screen. Now there's three bottles in here for one, two, and three. They each have different antigens um, trying to figure out the antibodies. Now this isn't, this will catch most um, antibodies, but there are specific examples that it won't always get. Now these are a screening test. Um, so then from here you would do the workup to figure out each specific antibody. So here's what the bottle looks like. They have a big number on them for two um, and they're a 0.8% suspension of red cells. And then you want to try to mix up the cells because there will be what's called a cell button at the bottom. This one's not too bad but they'll kind of settle. So you want to mix them all up. Then there's one and three. And you can kind of roll them between your hands and then tilt them. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to put in the patient plasma, or in my case, I'm using QC. And we put 25 microliters. So, here's my pipette. Um, you can see that at the top there's 12.550 and 25. Here, let me get a better angle there. And that's for each set of microliters. So I'll move it to 25 and then take our QC material and get our pipette tip. And prime it so it's ready to go and it's on 25 so this will be my second patient okay so once that's in there then I will add the plasma or the I'm using confidence for our other QC material. And this is serum. Here's what it looks like. Another pipette tip. New one every time, don't want overlap. I'm at one. Now that we have the serum, we're going to add the red cells. Let 
new pipette tip, and this time we're going to add 50 microliters. So for each one labeled one, we're going to add it the one. That one got a little extra. <laughs> Then we're going to put in 50 microliters of surgery screen 2 in our second spot. And lastly, 50 of 3. Once that's completed, we're going to set our time for 15 minutes, and it has to incubate at 37 degrees. So you can see it's at 37, and then timer for 15 minutes. And then after that, we will put it in our centrifuge. Looks like this with the balance card. Now the 15 minutes are up, we're going to take our card and place it directly across from the balance card, like so. Push it close, and then press the start button, and it will centrifuge for 10 minutes. So the centrifuge is done, now we can take out the card, and as you can see, so the first one, um, uh, that's in between like a 3 and 4 plus, that's like a 3 plus, and that one's about a 4 plus, so those are all supposed to be positive based on um, the QC we used, and then 1, 2, and 3 um, on, the, on this other side is all negative. So those we would turn out as zero or negative. 